Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm sitting in the floor. I was doing some stretching down here, minus my <laughs> yoga mat. But anyway guys, I just changed out of my Coach Tabby backpack. It was really hard to get out of that backpack. I won't lie. So I thought, what bag am I gonna carry for the next few days? So the bag that I chose was my Louis Vuitton Souffle BB. Now, if she looks different to you, that's because she is different. So the last time I carried her, it's been a while, you guys. This bag comes with a black leather strap to match you know, the leather on the sides, and it's a wide strap. So the last time I carried this bag, I absolutely, I could not stand that wide strap. So that's what led me to buy this strap. I bought it for this bag specifically, and I got it off the website, but you guys, you can, if you have this strap, you can use it with just about any bag, and I can already see now that this goes great together. So I got this strap, and I can wear this bag crossbody because it does lay pretty flat. See, it doesn't have too much of a bulge there at the bottom or an angle. And then I got this from Candy Sweet Love for LV. I got it off one of her lives. It was in excellent condition. I just love this, you guys. Years ago, I had just the round coin purse, and I sold it, and I always wanted it back. And then I thought, if I do get it back, I'm gonna get it so I can use it also as a charm. So I think it looks really cute. I dumped everything out here on the floor. Um, what was in my backpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff in this Souffle BB. Now this is an older bag and you can get these pre-loved. I will look and try to find some really good deals for you guys if I can find them. I got this one from Fashion File and it's supposed to have a tag and that's the only thing that was missing. But this bag is in excellent, excellent condition. So this bag is laid out in three different compartments like that. So in the middle, it has this really generous open part right here, and then it has two magnetic sides like this, and then here in the back, it also has like a really generous pocket. This part is just an open hole. So, and it's also on the inside, the um, microfiber, like it's really soft on the inside, and I, you guys remember I got this and I'm loving it. I don't have it set up like I want it just right now. I just have some jewel toned papers in there um, that have been cut and sized for this. And I need to get a pen. So I'm gonna get a pen, Pink Butterfly Girl, if you guys watch her and I'll list her below. Uh, she sent me a link to get some pens that fit this because at first I didn't really realize that was a pen slot but it is but it's tiny so I love this I could use a cheap notebook but I like this because you guys know I like bougie stuff <laughs> I just really stack everything up from tallest to shortest in the middle zip part so I've been using this as a catch-all and this went with one of my larger bags it's not the same size as the Neverfull pouches, it's much uh, shorter, and I and it and I did take off the wristlet part. It has this D ring here, but I don't really carry a lot of makeup around with me. Actually, all I have in here right now is tissues, a Dior lip liner. As a matter of fact, Cami, I need to put on some lip gloss. I haven't had anything on my lips all day. And sorry, I'm hot messy up to two videos in a row, okay? Because I've been home a lot, and this is the way I roll. And also some Tums. That's it. So let's go ahead and put on some lip glow. My lips feel really dry anyway. Mm-hmm. Much better. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I've got that in there. And I guess that's it. Okay. So I'm just going to stack these like this. And then I've been using my Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. There's um, some change in there. Dollars and uh, some other cards. And I've been using these two for my wallet 
I'll probably never ever go back to a full size wallet. I really don't think I will. And I've been holding on to my full size wallet from Louis Vuitton that I've had for years. It's kind of sentimental though. I like using card holders separately to just have my cards separate. So anyway, this is the way I'm gonna stack all of this inside the middle compartment of my souffle BB. Okay, so here we go. I am going to just drop them in there and I don't know if you can see, but they're nice and stacked in there. This is my little key clay with my car key and I will put it kind of on the side. Everything is secure because it has a zipper. There's my key clay. And this is my uh, key clay, <laughs> my four ring. And I like to put it just in the front like that, or actually I'm gonna put it in the back part because when I come home, I can just grab for my keys. And then my phone, I put in this big pocket. There's a big pocket right there and my iPhone 15 fits perfectly. And then I've got my little Chanel mirror and I'll probably just drop it, bam, right there in the front. So, I haven't been anywhere in a few days, but I definitely, if I go somewhere, I'm gonna toss in some sunglasses and some readers and it will hold all of that and more. So there it is, it's all zipped up. Now this one that just has the mirror, it's, it's closed with the magnet. This one, well actually, those magnets are very strong, but with my phone in there, it's not going to. But look, perfect. You guys know I love me some monogram in black. So this is gonna be my bag for the next few days. So if you don't have a Louis Vuitton souffle, you guys, it's one of my favorite bags. And when they first came out, I didn't really care for it. I didn't really care. For some reason, I didn't like the way it looked right here. But when I saw it in person, I was at, the first time I ever saw it in person, I was at the beach and somebody had one, but she was just carrying it handheld, kind of over the crook of her shoulder, the crook of her arm like that. And I went home and found one on Fashion File in excellent condition and grabbed her. So I feel like Louis Vuitton, in the last, I don't know, tell me how you guys feel. I feel like in the last three, three years especially, in the last two years for sure, they just haven't come out with anything that excites me. They haven't come out with anything new. They haven't come out with anything other than some speedies in different uh, colorways because I'd love to have every speedy, just about it. But they just really haven't come out with a lot of things that, you know, turn me on. So this is an older bag. It's very detailed. I can take the strap off if I want. It's got feet. This is a really bam bag, you guys. I absolutely love this bag. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and, uh, since I was changing bags, go ahead and share with you guys what all fits in it and talk a little bit about it, but it is an older bag. All right guys, so we're going to the beach Saturday. We're leaving Saturday. And these are my two newest swimsuits that I got this summer. This one's really cute. This one is by Ralph Lauren and it's navy and it has all these cute little seashells on it. And what I like about it is it's got this little ruffle it's really cute it's like a halter and it's got the little ruffle over the shoulders and it's kind of ruchy there on the side I like that one and then I got this one yes I'm gonna wear a two-piece but this one is made you know the bottoms are a little different and I love to mix and match my tops this actually came like this so that's another one I'm bringing when we go to the beach I usually take tons of swimsuits <laughs> like I change throughout the day but anyway these are my two new ones I thought I would share with you guys so this is my new bedding you guys I had the pillows okay so I had those shams but I got this bedding the other day when I was at TJ Maxx and I got the clothing that I showed you guys the last video so this is like a waffle 
I hope the texture is showing up. It's like a waffle blanket. And this white comforter, you guys, is so soft. And Keith and I like a white bed. That's just what we like. You know, maybe light gray or something like that. But this comforter, this comforter is so soft, you guys. And it's been... It's been a few years since I got some new bedding, so I just really loved this set. And then this pillow went with it, and I'm going to take it and have it monogrammed with a big fancy L in the middle, and then K and Y on the side. And then I've never put anything above the bed. I've been kind of cleaning and redoing and throwing things out, and I'm probably going to find something really pretty at my mom's that I want to keep and put over my bed. I thought about painting something, but I may just get something at her house. But yeah, that's my new bedding. And I like it, you guys. You don't have to pay a lot of money for bedding. There, it shows off the nice waffle look. And then the little comforter, it's got like tucks in it. It's just super, super soft. Super soft. So anyway, that's my new bedding. And my new swimsuits. All right guys, so I came out here to share with you what it is I've been working on this week. I have been clearing out my pool house. So I've cleaned out all my art supplies. Everything's pretty much empty. I've been cleaning on the floors because I'm not teaching art anymore right now. After my mom died and everything that's happened with Keith and that's still not really over, I just didn't have the heart. So I thought, I've always wanted to fix this into a little bohemian sanctuary. <laughs> and so I wanna paint a mural on the wall and it's probably gonna be over here, maybe where the cart is. I'll probably move that because this wall, I'm gonna put art up there, of course. But I'm looking for a velvet sofa. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. This is just gonna be a project that I'm gonna work on all through the fall and winter. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey because I wanted you guys to help me out a bit. So let me know what you think I should paint on the wall over here. I was thinking about doing like starry night, a sky, and, but something different. I don't know, you guys. I gotta get my creative juices flowing. So if you guys, want to help me out a bit and tell me what you think would be really pretty on the walls. And remember my, my theme is kind of 60s bohemian vibe, something like that. I got this at my mom's. She and I both love things like this. So I got this, it was in her house. So I love that you guys. So I got that and yeah, so we're going to work on this pool house together. Anybody is welcome to come here and help me. <laughs> But I would love to have your suggestions on what kind of a mural I should paint. I just, I even thought about doing a big sun and moon with a, well, like with the Van Gogh sky, but different with a twist. That's what I'm thinking right now. So tell me what you guys think. But I just wanted to come out here and share with you my space. I am going to have a, a painting corner here and I'm going to get like, some furniture. It's going to be really cute, you guys. So anyway, yeah, that's something I'm going to be working on um, throughout the uh, fall and winter. So here's my delicious <laughs> Wendy's Caesar salad. I always put extra stuff on my salads. Like I, I like to buy this cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese, and I put some extra cheese and some extra croutons and then I use my own dressing. So yeah, this is my dinner. So it's several hours later, it's in the evening now. And I sat down and I thought, I'm starving, I need to eat. And then I remember how, <laughs> some of you don't like it when I chew, but you guys, I have to chew to eat, we all have to chew, okay? 